for better approach, living organisms have been classified into different groups by different workers. Carl Linnaeus, known as the father of classification, classified organisms into two kingdom systems, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. But this system had a number of demerits. Subsequently, R. H. Whittaker, an American taxonomist in 1969, proposed the five kingdom classification and divided the living world into five kingdoms. Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Whittaker's five kingdom system is based on five factors complexity of cell structure, complexity of an organism's body, mode of nutrition, lifestyles and phylogenetic relationships. Let's understand these five factors one by one. The first factor is the complexity of cell structure. On the basis of the nucleus and other characteristics, two types of cells are recognized. The first type is a simple primitive cell known as prokaryotic cell, as in the case of bacteria and algae. The second type of cell is a eukaryotic cell which has a complex structure and is found in fungi, plants and animalia. The second factor is the complexity of an organism's body. The earliest organisms were unicellular. Later on, complex eukaryotic forms evolved and in due course of time, they evolved into multicellular organisms. The third factor is the mode of nutrition. There are two modes of nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. The process by which organisms synthesize their own food is known as autotrophic nutrition. For example, plants and certain bacteria. In heterotrophic nutrition, organisms depend on other organisms or plants for their food. Heterotrophic nutrition is of three main types. Holozoic, saprophytic and parasitic. Holozoic mode of nutrition refers to the intake of solid food and breaking it into a simple form. In case of saprophytic nutrition, organisms obtain their food from dead and decaying organic matter, while in case of parasitic nutrition, organisms depend partially or completely on other organisms for their food causing damage to the host organisms. The fourth factor that was considered while making this five kingdom system is the lifestyle. On the basis of the lifestyles, organisms have been put into three groups. The first group is that of producers. Plants which utilize light energy, water and carbon dioxide to synthesize their organic food are producers. The second group based on lifestyles is that of consumers which are animals that consume either plants or other animals to survive. The third group is that of decomposers such as bacteria and fungi which depend on the dead remains of plants and animals for their food and decompose them. The last and the fifth factor is the phylogenetic relationship. Phylogeny is the evolutionary history of organisms and an index of true relationship among organisms. All kingdoms are arranged to show the probable phylogenetic relationships among them based on fossils and other evidences. Such arrangement allows us to visualize an increase of complexity with evolutionary time.